In this video, we will learn everything about Python variables. So, why do we need variables? Anything we write in code, which is software, is processed and stored in the memory, and the memory is the hardware, right? The memory addresses are not easy to deal with and remember, and it consists of billions of binary and hexadecimal numbers. So, in order to reuse a value, we need to have a reference for it, right? So we have millions and billions of memory addresses and when we store some data, we need to have a reference for this data. So the variable is the reference for the data in the memory address. So we say that variables are just the way we communicate with the memory to fetch the data. So for example, if we have in our code 3 plus 4, this will be stored, the output will be stored in a random memory address that we cannot access after that. So the value will be lost. So this operation we did here is basically useless. But here, if we say x equal three plus four, the output will be stored in a random memory address again, but we can access this random memory address using the reference x. So the reference x is the variable name that this value was stored in. So regarding naming variables, it's a good practice to name your variables meaningful name instead of just x, y, and z. So please spend some time thinking about a name that represent what this variable is doing. And you need also to know that we cannot use reserved keywords to name our variables. So for example, we cannot name our variable f, for, while, and many other reserved keywords. You can find here the complete list of Python reserved keywords that you cannot use when you are naming your variable. Another thing is that Python is case sensitive. So if we have a variable called x, it's different from x capital. So x small is a variable and x capital is another variable. We also should not use the characters l small or o capital or i capital as a single character variable names. This will not throw an error, okay? But it's not recommended because as you can see, we can get confused between this one and this one. And we can confuse the O with the zero, right? So it's better to name your variables meaningful name and try to avoid these cases, okay? And according to the Python documentation, according to the style guide for Python, Variable names should be lowercase with words separated by underscores as necessary to improve readability. So we should name our variables with single word. And if we need more than one word to name our variable, then we need to separate these two words with underscore and the whole name should be lowercase. Okay, this, the whole variable should be all lowercase. This is all you need to know about variables. Now let's go to the code and see how we can use variables. So here we are in a new Jupyter notebook. Let's see how we can use variables. So let's try to add two numbers together. Let's say we want to add five with eight. So if we run the code, we will see that the result is 13. But let's say we want to have this 13 and perform other operation on this 13, right? So we want to divide it by two. We want to multiply it by three, anything, right? The output of this operation, right, the output of this line, we don't have access for it. It was stored in a random memory address and we don't have a reference for this memory address. We don't have a variable that stores this specific 13. But if we do something like this, if we say x equal 5 plus 8 and then we print x, you will see that we have 13. So this is the first function we are using in our course. So the print function is very, very simple. It's one of the most basic functions and we will discuss what do we mean by a function. But for now, let's say that a function is something that you give it an input, perform some logic on this input or perform some operation, and then it can return some output. So here, the print function, we give it the variable and it will print this variable for us. So here we are printing x and we see that the output is 13. So this means we have this variable 
storing this operation the output of this operation right and now we have access to this x and we can perform some other operations on it like x equal x over 2 for example if we print x now you will see that we have x equal 6.5 so this means we have access for the value stored here so this is the reference or this is the variable the other thing is that python is case sensitive so if we try to print x but capital instead of small it will give an error called name error because this variable is not defined because x capital is different from x small right so this is very very important to note the other thing is that we cannot have a variable that starts with a number so we cannot have something like this right this will throw an error saying syntax error the other thing is that we cannot have a special character in the name so we cannot have something like ahmed and then dollar sign equal to this will also throw an error so we have some conventions and some rules we need to follow while naming the variable also it's better not to name a variable like this it's better not to name a variable with capital letters it's better to use small letters and for example if we want to have a variable called ahmed wael right it's better to have underscore to separate ahmed from wael because we cannot have a space in the name itself this will also throw an error because we cannot have a space inside the variable name right so these are some of the rules you need to follow while working with variables and while defining variables and most of the problems that you will face while working with variables are syntax errors that are very very easy to solve but they happen frequently for beginners but once you get familiar with python then naming variables will be a very easy job that's all we need to know about variables so let's go to the next lesson